G'day, I'm Al McGlashan for Club Marine TV. Don't be that family. You know, the one stranded on the highway to hell because someone forgot to service the boat trailer bearings. The fine art of trailer maintenance is critical to master and it actually starts well before you leave home. In fact, it starts when you last put the trailer to bed. Here's what should happen. Keep it clean. How often do we see a trailer with tired tires, broken brakes, rusty rollers, or suspension that barely keeps them in suspense. Salt water is a natural enemy of steel trailers. So the best and easiest thing you can do is hose down your trailer after every outing to reduce corrosion. While you're washing down, check the smaller components like U-bolts, nuts, and welds for any corrosion. If you see any rust, sand it with sandpaper or steel wool, then give it a touch up with rust proof paint. Rollers and runners can also become sticky or degraded due to salt and sand. So give them a good rinse too and replace if they're looking worn. And speaking of worn, tyres are probably the number one cause of trailer breakdowns. Telltale signs include poor tread, bulging sidewalls and cracking. Check air pressure before longer trips. For winter storage, you can jack the trailer up by the axles to remove the load on the tyres. This will prevent flat spots from developing Experts say you should check your wheel bearings at least once a year. They should turn without stiffness or squeaking. If there is rocking or wobbling, the bearing needs tightening. They need to be free of dirt and water and should be packed with grease and well sealed. Heat damage shows a blue tinge. You might also see something resembling black pepper or the grease may appear milky. Both means a service is needed. Leaf springs have been around since Noah was a lad but like everything else, they're prone to rust. Superficial is okay, but cracks and chunks aren't. Some folks like to add liberal doses of lanolin spray from time to time. Brakes often require the most upkeep because they're under high stress and they're routinely dunked in salt water. For the override brakes, keep the sliding hitch actuator lubricated by pumping grease into the grease nipple once or twice a year. It pays to lubricate the brake lock tab too. Keep in mind that the cable will need to be adjusted occasionally. Check the discs, pads and calipers for wear and while you're at it, inspect the brake cables or brake fluid. The other issue to look for is the caliper seizing, which is more common in hydraulic systems but can also happen in cable types as well. Electrical faults with your lights can quickly catch the attentions of the boys in blue, let alone other drivers. Dirty connector plugs should be cleaned and also check ground wires for fraying. If you have an older trailer, lash out on some new LEDs. Larger trailer boats can usually be driven onto their trailer, but some people have to, or prefer to, winch their boat. In that scenario, you don't want to be caught out with a broken strap. Rope and seatbelt webbing are notorious for degrading under UV exposure, while wire can rust and fray. In either case, keep a good eye on them well before time. By following these tips, you can spend more time on the water and less time on the side of the highway. But just to be sure, always carry a spare wheel, spare set of bearings, grease, a wheel chock, and a road emergency sign, just in case.